A nine-year-old and her father are dead after what police believe was a murder-suicide. Police found the bodies of the little girl and her 49-year-old father in the basement of a Northwest Rochester home Sunday afternoon. Though it remains under investigation, police do believe the father shot his young daughter before turning the gun on himself. ABC 6 News reporter Steph Kroc joins us live from the scene and brings us the latest in our top story tonight. Steph? I've been out here throughout the day, James and Betsy, and as you can see behind me, the investigators still haven't left. And while they continue to search for answers, so do friends, family, and those that live near this devastating crime scene. I was worried. So worried. I didn't know what happened. Alith Grace Adusma was home with her family Sunday night when flashing lights and sirens filled her neighborhood. So my kids run to the window and they said they seen police with their guns in their hands and they were running in the house. The commotion was coming from this home across the street, the scene of a horrific and heartbreaking crime. I actually heard uh, kids crying there. Officers arrived and located two people in the basement of that house who were deceased upon their arrival. In this basement, police found the bodies of a nine-year-old girl and her 49-year-old father. It appears uh, preliminarily that the, the father had shot his daughter and then shot himself. I told my husband, I said, did you hear anything? Did you, like, as if it's a gunshot, you could have, you know, heard something. So I didn't know. Even family members upstairs at the time said they heard noises, but told police they didn't imagine it would be gunshots. The one that called us is, brother, is a brother to the male that was found downstairs, <clears throat> and then his significant other and their kids were also there. <clears throat> And then the mother of the, the child that was shot uh, had shown up to pick her up and was there as well. Lieutenant Casey Moylanin with the Rochester Police Department told us the nine-year-old was only there for a few hours for visitation. Her mom had just come to pick her up, but it was too late. Just as you can imagine, if it was anybody in your family, sad and shocked. Shocked because everything seemed normal leading up to this, according to those inside the house. This was a total surprise to everybody. But while family and friends cope with the devastating news, investigators continue to search for answers. A, a child was last, a brother was last, a father was last. I'll be praying for the, the family involved. So believed by police to be a murder-suicide, that has yet to be officially confirmed through the medical examiner's office. Investigators say after the autopsy, they'll be able to answer some of those questions. The Rochester Police Department says this is the first murder in this city so far this year. Now they're waiting to release any names to make sure all of the family members have been notified. In Rochester, Steph Kroc, ABC 6 News.